Hello everyone, this is Ifticker once again from Ifticker.us. So I just finished writing a post explaining why someone should be using CSS reset code. And on this post I have I have explained uh, why someone should use CSS reset code and I also provided a sample HTML file to explain the fact uh, that someone must use or should use the CSS reset code to demonstrate that why you should be using let's open up your HTML editor copy this code and paste it on your uh, notepad editor or HTML editor save it as an HTML file we got an empty space over here so let's get rid of that thing first now let's save it as an HTML file on desktop let's type it test I think I mistakenly saved it as a PHP format file so let's save it as an HTML file once again Okay, test.cshtml, uh, okay. So we have our page created over here. So let's open this page on our web browser. You can see there's an empty space in, in between the div element. On the top, there isn't some space. On the left-hand side, we already do have some space. So that doesn't, that is space, you cannot get rid of that is space, even if I do write like um, margin top zero pixel, margin, margin left zero pixel that still doesn't solve this problem and if you open up this page with another browser you would see the same issue as being um, happening now if you go back to my post I provide a link for HTML5 doctor CSS reset code I highly recommend you to use this code instead of Eric Meyer CSS reset I think that's more advanced in a sense that HTML5 came with a whole bunch of semantic and a whole bunch of new element or tag which I think is more usable or beneficial for any web designer so simply click on this link and let's go to HTML5 doctors website where they have the CSS reset code as you can see this code is kind of little big so let's copy the entire code let's copy it and paste it on a website called CSS Compressor. This is where we would be compressing our CSS style sheet. Simply click on Compress. Now you do have the entire compressed code. Simply copy it and paste it on your, at the very beginning of your style sheet. Part of the reason why we're adding this code at the very beginning is because we are telling with this style sheet to the web a user agent of our web browser to reset everything to the very minimum baseline so that we do not have an excess space. Now, I already opened this same page with our um, Safari browser. You can see still there was an empty space over here. So let's zoom it a little so that you can see the empty space over here. Here you can see the empty space. And also you can see the content, the word itself has empty space on the top and at the bottom. This is the same case. Let's zoom it over here as well. There is an empty space on the left hand side and an empty space on the top. So we have the re CSS reset code. Now save this HTML file and now you can refresh this page. As you can see, there is no empty space for the content or the word itself, or there is no empty space for this div element. There is no empty space on the top, no empty space on the left hand side either. Now to show you that how perfect it is, so we can put over here margin top one pixel and margin left to be one pixel so that you can see the differences. Now let's refresh this browser. As you can see, there is an extra one pixel space over here on the top. I think I wrote it wrong, margin left. So now let's save it. And you can see there's an empty one pixel of space on the left hand side too. This is the same thing we should see on our Safari browser. So as soon as we refresh it, you can see there's an empty space, only one pixel as we defined on our CSS reset code on the left hand side of our screen and on, on top of this div element. This is one reason why you should use CSS reset code to build or to design a pixel for perfect website. Now you can definitely, you should definitely be using the style sheet on external file. Regardless, wherever you do have your style sheet, I would highly recommend you to use this CSS reset code. That's a way you can build a very clean and pixel perfect design. This is the same code that I'm using on my site as well to design 
the whole template as you can see the ad itself starts at the very beginning of the web browser this is how it was designed not to waste any space on the top so this is the only reason and there are some other factors as well that worked behind the scene that we need to use this is that's the reason why we need to use the CSS reset code so if you do like my video subscribe my channel and also feel free to visit my article to read a little more about it in details I see you in next video. Take care. Bye-bye.